Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another video for you all. This time we'll be looking at a professional grade spot welder. Whenever you build these sort of battery packs, 32700 cells or 18650 or 32650 cells, you need a proper spot welder. Now on my channel, I did upload lots of spot welders, uh, battery type spot welders, and we also did a DIY type spot welders. But this one, right, this works on AC current and this is a professional grade spot welder. So if you see, the brand name is Scientific Logic and uh, comes in a proper packaging and you have two LEDs on the top and then you have an amp control to control your amps. It goes up to 100 amps. On the right side, you have a timer delay. You have a two output wire and there's a trigger switch socket. Along with this, you get uh, the spot welding pen. So you just have to directly place the pen on the top and pressure it. So that would automatically trigger the switch and it'll do a spot weld. If you see, there's a small switch at the end. So the copper rod actually gets, uh, will touch it and then it'll trigger it based on the pressure. So whenever you press it, it'll trigger and it'll do a spot weld. And this plug would directly go inside the switch socket. So this is a pretty simple type mechanism or you also get a, a foot pedal. So you could directly put it in the socket and use your foot to trigger it on off. So what I actually did was the wire length for me was small. So what I did was I uh, cut off the wire and then I used six gauge high quality silicon wire. So these are thick wires high flexible as well. So the advantage here is that it'll be easier for me to like move it around. And when I connect it, I'd make sure that I use proper copper wires and all that. And it's a strong connection. So now it's easy for me to like move around and it works for me easily. So if you need the spot welder, you could get it from my website and this spot welder comes with one year warranty. You also have a cooling fan at the end so that this can work continuously. So let's do a spot welding and I'll show you how good the quality is. But before that, uh, let me go ahead and get all the uh, batteries connected on a holder. The one that I'm making is a 36 volt 2LH battery pack. The reason why I'm doing a 2LH is because that was the requirement that I received uh, from a customer. So that's the reason I'm building that. If you need any sort of battery packs, you could reach out to me. I'll be able to help you out in building battery packs. Uh, or if you need raw materials, you could buy it from our website. So if you see, I have assembled everything and I have also cut some nickel strips. And the nickel strip that I'm using is a 1.2 mm nickel strip. So now let's power on the device. This directly goes to your AC socket. Make sure that you use a 16 amp socket and you have a proper tripper as well connected to it. So as soon as you power on, there's a green LED that would glow, indicating that there's power going inside the spot welder. Now let me connect the foot pedal and I'll trigger that across to you. So whenever you press it right, you have that red indication confirming that there's current going to the transformer and it's turning on the spot weld. So this, since it's a transformer based spot welder, you have a proper secure solid spot welds. So now let's quickly do a spot weld and let me show you the quality of the bat, uh, spot weld. So this battery pack actually is going to be used on e-cycle. So if you need these sort of battery packs, do let me know guys, we can customize the battery packs based on your requirement. So that would be the main positive. And then I have connected all the cells in parallel, one each to other, but the other side, right? I have kept it vertically. So that would be the main positive and the other side would be the main negative. 
So that's the main positive. So the bottom negative side will get connected with the positive side of the next battery. So let's do a spot weld on that. So the extra nickel step is to connect balancing lead. That's the reason why I kept some extra wire at the end. So there was a sm small spark. And if you see, the spot well did go out. Let me do it on the other side as well. So let me get that to focus. If you see the spot weld is quite good. It's strong as well. I can't peel it off and I don't want to uh, destroy it. Spot weld is good. I'm quite satisfied with it. Now let's quickly do a spot weld for all the sides and then I'll show you how it looks like. So guys, the spot weld is all done. I have kept a Kapton tape on it just to insulate because the battery is live now. So if you see the spot weld is quite good, it's quite strong. And uh, yeah, this spot weld did turn out to be really good guys. So this is a 36 volt battery pack. So I've connected all the balance sheets on the sides and on the top, I'm going to put some epoxy sheets on the sides as well and on the top and then heat shrink it and that's the BMS so it's a 36 volt dual age battery pack this can be uh, used on motor controllers like e-bike uh, this is the e-bike kit if you need this out of e-bike kits it'll be there on my website you could buy it from there so I could certainly recommend buying the spot weld works really good if you want to build a huge number of battery packs but if you're going to just do it as a hobbyist, then you could buy a whole boat type spot welders as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned. And on the next video, you'll be uh, looking at the video for building an e-cycle. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to it. Stay tuned. New videos would be coming out shortly. Thank you so much for watching guys.